Aug. Everything is Aug. Okay. Oh, there's some shit going on over here. I want to finish this so I can go to sleep. I'm very tired. And I think I'm actually going to try to sleep in tomorrow. I think I sleep in... God damn fat monstrosities. There it is. He didn't adhere to the rules. Wow, that was jarring. When you die, it does not even, like, because this is a PC port, right? It loads super quickly. It does not even give you, like, time to really process that you've died. It just goes like, yeah, okay, no, you're dead now. And then immediately goes from there. That was super jarring. Okay, I already grabbed that, so we're fine. <laughs> this is not, like, it's not a terrible game, but man, does it, like, not feel good to play it. Excuse me. It's just kind of like, I, I can't tell if it's because it's like 10 years old or if it's just because it wasn't good when I played it back then either. But people like love this game and they're super happy that a new one's coming out, but it just feels <laughs> very mediocre. Don't talk about Hearts of Iron. That's that's gonna be like a whole other thing that I'm gonna have to spend money on and get Nick to play it and teach me and then we'll play it. What? Hearts of Iron. It's like EU4, but like World War II. Ooh. Hey, hey they're red. Then we can actually be Nazis or fight Nazis. But see, the problem with like Hearts of Iron is like, I can't do the custom world like I did where I made Hitler into like a utopian leader who didn't murder people <laughs> except for the fact that he totally was still murdering people but like not in the world war way just slowly over time Darksiders is probably what killed CHQ I mean that's probably not true but it probably didn't help <laughs> Hey, what's going on over here? You're a zombie, right? Here. Mika Car. Your head can just disappear too. Dark Siders 2 is one of their last games, really. Then it might have actually been part of the nail in the coffin, yeah. Mods are really the only reason you play Hearts of Iron 4. Okay, well if it's got a lot of mods and stuff, then I'll probably get into it. Okay, can't go that way. Can I? It looks like I'm supposed to go this way, but I think I'm supposed to go towards like the cathedral. Yo, what's up, big dog? You're not gonna talk to me? Alright, cool. I'm gonna go back to Batland. Wait a minute, what's down here? See, this is my problem with video games. What? I am an incredibly focused person in real life, but in video games, it's just like, Yo, what the heck is that thing over there? <laughs> Good mod out of one World War One is a great war mod. Neat. The better question is, can you make custom nations? Because I kind of wait. I kind of want to make the nations of subs versus dubs again. I heard that. What? I mean. Can't help it, really. The thing is, subs versus dubs was like the one like time when you guys put E four that a lot of people showed up for. <laughs> it wasn't even us playing. Is the best part. It was an AI. Uh huh. We were just hoping that we could get them to go to war with each other at some point. It worked. Uh, Wrath Shard. Okay, whatever. I 
feel like... I missed when there would be, like, 20 people. That was, those were good days. Yeah, I haven't had much luck when I stream either, so... I've been having better luck than you. <laughs> 95% certain that it's yellow and not blue around her... Uh, around her lady bits. Around her blue. lady bits. You know, so it's blue and then yellow. I was kind of sort of right. You see, when you're going to get intimate and show the person your woman's flower, you need yeah. to identify what color it is, because you might be allergic. <laughs> Can I just say... I saw a... A list of Victorian party games the other day. And Victorians had, like, the worst party games of all time, but they're all super creepy. Oh, yeah? Okay, another... Ah, God damn it, you stupid... Sack. Listen, don't talk about me that way, okay? <laughs> Talking about this man that's trying to light me on fire with his guts. Give me that health, I need it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, there's like one Victorian party game where they get like a dude and they swaddle him in like a blanket. And then all of the women have to like feed him like custard or tea. And say like some shit like who's a good baby or some shit. It's really it's kinda so fucked weird. up. It's really fucked up and it makes me think of like this is somebody's like kink. I was gonna say that sounds like a weird fetish. Never play unmodded US, it's boring as fuck. Yeah, only ever play the US when it's modded in like a really rigged way. Victorian. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it's weird Victorian baby boy. Just be glad that they didn't. Oh, hey, I got a thousand points. I'm gonna get weapon master. Uh, just don't ever talk about like Victorian diaper play. That was when stuff got weird. I say that facetiously, but like, it's probably real. It's probably real. I mean, if you can daydream it, it's real. Hmm, not like that. Someone out there has a thing for it. Oh, I can only put that on one weapon. Alright, so we'll definitely leave it on our sword, because our sword is our main one. I know a person who got off to the human centipede, so... See, that's less of, like, a kink and more of, like, a you have, like, some problems you need to address as a person, but, like, you know, you can do that in your own time. And never come near me. I was gonna say, I don't have that friend anymore. <laughs> Spend my nights listening to another really talk about fetishes. We talk about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's not always fetishes. Sometimes we talk for like four hours about how we hate Cyclops. That's an exaggeration, but Nick and I have had like long discussions about how we hate Scott Summers. Ow! God damn it, the bats are so annoying, but they're so easy to take care of. You just you grab them by the face and you just stab your sword up into them. Yeah. I'm wondering if. Yeah, hey, what's up? I'm wondering if this, like, Twilight Cathedral place existed before the weird demon monsters or after them? I want to say after. Well, I mean, it's, like, in the middle of, like, a city, though. So you never know. I'm <laughs> 
clean this up so much. Yeah, I just don't want to hang out here like that. Anymore. Do I know where I'm going? No. Do you know where I'm going? No. Please help me, I'm lost. Also, I do just kind of like exploring the outside of the areas. You kind of have to do the exterior collisions to find like the cool stuff. And so I've been kind of going around the outside hoping to find cool stuff. And it's actually kind of been paying off, but not enough. And, like, and the combos in this just feel weak, too, because you can't string from combo right to finisher half the time unless you're on the ground. Oh. It just feels very strange. I don't know. Again, maybe I'm just... I'm, I'm, maybe I'm looking at this through a negative light because of the fact that I'm, like, I could have been playing near right now. Which has much better combat, which is something that is very weird to say about near. I love near. I eat a whole I mean, you could eat a whole ass. There was that one guy who was a cannibal who ate a whole girl's ass. No. She was also like eight. No. That's both ghost and sad. He did specify, however, he did not have sex with her. I mean, that's good, I guess. He still killed her. Oh, yeah, of course. How else are you going to feed your cannibals? It's near to your heart. Now, it's near to Rachel's heart. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite game. I know it's awful. Still love it. Did, well, near... near one. Near two isn't awful. It's just... Not the best. It's really good. It's just like got some bits and pieces that are like, ah. It's not the best, but I like it a lot. I like it more than the first one. Listen, what you say? What it you always say comes back to Nazis or cannibalism. You need to learn this by now. Because I was planning on getting a near tattoo on me, so I mean. What the uh, what one? Um, well, originally it was going to be the first one, and actually I might do both just because, but I wanted to get Grimoire Wise tattooed on me. Okay. Or the main sword that you use for the longest time. Well, that depends on game then. Yeah. Um, but if it was going to be near, um, Automata, it was going to be the symbol um of the corporation yorha yeah so i don't know i might do both because i mean i have i want to do a bird sleeve and a nerd sleeve so the way you said that makes me like internally both uncomfortable and very happy <laughs> why because it just sounds very silly well i you know i'm getting the bird sleeve right yeah yeah, um, and then I was like, well, I can't have one arm covered and one arm not, and one arm already has ruby and sapphire tattooed on it, as well as, um, the fucking, um, Dragon Age symbol, so it's I like, I must, I might as well dedicate that arm to nerd stuff. My brother spoke of your coming, but this a powerful curse holds me now. So confused. I cannot help you. I'm sorry I'm confusing you, Any Rachel's curse Jet. can be broken. What's going on? Yes, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm not drawing. I was, like, taking a quick break from... I was drinking stuff. The realm of shadow. <laughs> By their blood. I'll just um, get a good tattoo. That's the one blood, I'll get. Shall we be free? I can no longer move so, within the shadow realm. Um, I have Much of my power multiple tattoos. 
think I have you ten in total. I will grant you the power to I was drinking Pepsi. Thank you. Yeah, I'm drinking the Pepsi. The Pepsi. Um, one of my arms is going to be dedicated to watercolor birds because I'm awful. Um, for for personal reasons that I'm not too comfortable telling anyone else besides Tyler, because <laughs> it's because it's kind of silly. Also, I need to watch this. Hello. Hi. Now you people need to make an account to watch me. I'm kidding. I mean, we'll do it. He plays really good games. I play very bad games. That's actually like the real truth. <laughs> I, I, I do play good games, but I intentionally play very bad games. Um, Wait, am I gonna but... have to? I'm, am I gonna have to fight my ghost? That's like in my hand or something? No, he's he's. In, wait, I could have attacked him. <laughs> Let's get Kronks. I just entered my name. I didn't have to make an account, huh? Um, but the other arm that's not birds has I got ruby and sapphires gems tattooed on me. Well, technically ruby is on the left and sapphire is on the right because darn it. But um. Then I have the Dragon Age symbol on me. I plan on getting Jasper's gem on me at some point, but I just don't know where. Because originally I was like, I'm gonna get all of the gems tattooed, Skin like gems. I was gonna say I was gonna get all the gems tattoos on my body, and then Jasper came into account, and I fell in love, and I was like, "Fuck her gems on her nose." <laughs> Garnet, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, like I'd be okay with Amethyst tattoo being like, you know, cleavage area, but I already have one sort of kind of in that general area, and it doesn't hold ink very well. Yeah, the titty gem. Titty gem. What am I supposed to? Be? I don't know. I was too busy talking to remember what I was doing, and then I remembered I'm drawing. Fuck, speaking of gems, I fucking forgot the gem on her chest because I'm a fucking idiot. I forgot what this challenge was, chat. Remind me what this challenge is. I wasn't paying attention. Damn it, all the fucking hell. Rachel, get the surgery to look like Amethyst like that one lady. <laughs> I won't. I'll pass. I've cosplayed her once, that's all I ever want to do. I'm never gonna actually, like, get the fucking surgery. Do I look like someone who pays attention? I think you have to, and then just nothing. Alright, you guys are a great help. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. <laughs> I really want to turn on my AC because it's hot as balls here. Go for it. Oh, hey. I figured it out by accident, I guess. What? Oh, you're... What the fuck you're supposed to be doing? I think. Apparently, I didn't actually figure out uh -oh. what it was. I'll try to help, though. I guess I have to kill guys in the air. I'm doing wonderful. Wait. Get down and stem on your nose. <laughs> Doing wonderful, I suppose. I've been able to start right winning with Morgan now, and I have felt the fear. Always looking out for you. <laughs> Shut up, guys. Don't actually, though. I really desperately need the attention. I'm very glad that you got to start writing stuff. That's cool. I have no idea what that means as well, but I'm very glad that you got to start writing, and I'm glad that you're happy. That was entertaining. Everyone deserves to be happy. I don't know what that was, but that was a bunch of yellow that went inside my body. And there's a bunch of fart gas. Right? Okay. Like, if she's gonna- if you're gonna, like, dye yourself permanently purple, and you're gonna get a gem, like, shoved in your tits, did you might as- Did she not, like- did, I, I didn't watch it, okay? Did she just, like, glue it there, or was it, like, surgically implanted? Because no one would ethically do that. 
I think she got it surgically implanted. Mm. The yellow rectangles also are my rage. Yeah. And you don't have to go. Oh yeah, you're just like, you don't have to go. Holy shit. I lost hope in humanity again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? Get out of, get out of here. There are too many of you. Get out. Stupid bats. Yes, a person got themselves permanently died, like they died to their skin and they actually got the gem implanted in their chest to make themselves look like amethyst. It's great and terrible. And I'm sorry that I'm not drawing right now. I'm trying to figure out what fucking colors are. Oh, yeah, the... we're in this. We're in this, boys. We're hopping from bat to bat. Don't touch the ground. Kind of white, kind of not. Don't touch the ground. The floor is uh, not lava. The floor is student loans. That's relevant. <laughs> Did you know, like, people are doing a thing now where it's like, um... Um... They'll be like walking around randomly and they'll go the floor is lava and you like have to instantly get up. I mean if you're an so ass. I, I think it's so cool. I think it's a terrible thing to do in public. But that's because I hate people acting like jackasses in public. Like remember planking? Yeah, I remember planking. planking I hated everything like that. I hate anytime people do stuff like that. Like I kind of am okay with flash mobs, but only the really cool ones, like, and I say this partially because in Japan, they had flash mobs way before flash mobs were a thing, right? Like those are those are a relatively late 2000s uh, thing in North America, right? Uh -huh. Like they started like around 2010ish, <laughs> but uh, in in Japan they were having like flash mobs as early as the early 2000s or the late 90s because people on JoJo message boards would meet up to pose in the streets. But I kind of hate those people too because they were posing in the street so they were making life harder for everybody else. Yeah. Like imagine being a Japanese businessman getting to work and being like I'm so sorry I'm late. There was a bunch of otaku in the street posing like Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> Thing is though, would your do you think like the like the bosses or whatever like believe them? Well, I mean, if it was like on a bus or something, like they'd issue you a pass specifically saying like, yeah, you're, you're like this because Japan okay. is amazing when it comes to transportation. I'm planking right now. Oh! I hate that guy! That noise. This big, fat, Dark Souls stray demon man just freaking one-hit kills you if he even, like, touches you.